Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits, and in today's video, I will show you some ideas on how you can use the slide zoom feature creatively in Microsoft PowerPoint. I will be using a cork board or bulletin board inspired theme in this presentation, wherein if you click the slide attached to the cork board, it will automatically zoom in to that slide, and once you click the back button, it will zoom out to the cork board slide. This tutorial is similar to one of my posted videos here on my channel, which is the Zooming Guide Map PPT presentation, which also utilizes the slide zoom feature. You can also see the link in the description if you want to watch it. Now moving on in this tutorial, I have 5 slides here that I'll be using for my corkboard. The introduction part, goals and objectives, topic slides, pictures, and the summary and conclusion. All I need to do is to add a new slide before these 5 slides below. Now we can add our corkboard here and design the slide according to our preference. Under the insert tab, I will just look for a corkboard picture here under the online pictures, but you can also add your own from your system files. Let's try to select this one and click the insert button. Let's just wait for it to download. Now we can resize this corkboard and place it in the center of the slide. Now let's try to add a background for this slide. So I'll be looking for a white wall here but it's really up to you on how will you design your slide. So let's try to select let's try to select this one and click the insert button. Now let's try to resize this background so we can cover the entire slide. And then right click, send to back. And then let's try to crop this one so it will be the same as the size of our slide. Now if you are already satisfied with your layout, we can now add the title of this board or your presentation title. We can add our text under the insert tab and then look for the text box. Then we will just type our title so let's just say your title here and then we will change the font to Montserrat but it's up to you to decide and then align to center then we will just add shape fill of white and then adjust it to our corkboard and now for the next part which is the main highlight of this tutorial the slide zoom feature under the insert tab just look for the zoom section and click the slide zoom feature. A slide zoom can help you make your presentation more dynamic allowing you to choose freely between slides in any order you choose without interrupting the flow of your presentation. Then we will select the 5 slides here or according to the number of slides you have in your presentation. You can resize your slide and arrange them here in our corkboard accordingly. So I will arrange the slides from introduction to conclusion. I will try to resize them so they can fit and balance here in the corkboard. You can also rotate the slides, tilt them, or lay out them however you want. So in this case, I will just arrange them since I only have 5 slides here. Take note that you can also add more than 5 slides here and fit them all in your corkboard. We can also apply some effects including borders or shadows to each slides. We can do that by simply selecting the slides in the cork word and select the zoom tab. But to keep this layout simple, I will just add a shadow effect to each slides. The slides attached here in the cork board will act as the paper we usually pin in our cork boards. 
let us now try to present and see how the slide zoom works in this presentation. As you notice, once we click the slide attached to the corkboard, it will automatically zoom in to that slide. And once you click the back button, it will zoom out to the corkboard slide. Of course, you can also add some additional designs in your corkboard. I added here some push pins, notepads, and other elements to make my corkboard more creative and attractive. You can always extend your creativity in designing your corkboard. Another good thing about this feature is that when you edit the slides below our corkboard file, for example this part, once we save it again and go back to the corkboard slide, the slide attached here will also refresh and will follow your revisions without deleting and selecting the slide again in the corkboard. As you notice, I changed the color of the introduction part and once we go back to the corkboard slide, the slide for that will also change. And now let's turn it back to the original one for the yellow one and it will also turn into yellow one. So that's basically it and here is the final output for this presentation. I hope this video helped you to have an idea about the slide zoom feature and always remember that this feature can really help you to make your presentation more exciting and engaging. You can also think of other ideas that will utilize this feature. If you want to share your thoughts, ideas, or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave a comment in this video. Again, this is Gamo Edits and thank you for watching.